For several days now, temperatures have been steadily climbing, reaching at least 32 degrees at North Holt, northwest London, on Monday. The same heat wave is affecting France, Portugal, and Spain, where temperatures hit 43 degrees near Seville on Sunday. In the UK, the highest temperature ever recorded was 38.7 degrees in Cambridge on the 25th of July 2019. Now, we're still well short of that, but there is a chance the record will be smashed later in the week. Of course, it's midsummer, so it's bound to be hot, but is it getting hotter? More often. These are the peak temperatures of every year back to 1900, colour coded from cool blue to hotter red. There are days over 35 degrees scattered through the 20th century, but there is an emerging trend in the last decade or so of reds and oranges showing consistently higher peak temperatures. Now that warming trend really stands out when you look at average temperatures for the whole summer, not just the one-off hot days. The five warmest summers on record have all been since 1976. So, a clear trend. But is it climate change? Yes, says the Met Office. It looked at the summer of 2018, the joint warmest year on record. It found that the chance of such a hot summer in a natural climate was just 0.5%. But because of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, that had increased to 12%. In other words, a record summer is almost 30 times more likely now as a result of climate change. The warming trend will accelerate. By mid-century, the Met Office predicts a summer as hot as 2018 will happen every other year. And if greenhouse gas emissions continue to climb as predicted, then by the end of the century, UK temperatures will peak at 40 degrees or more once every three or four years. Such sweltering heat is life-threatening, particularly for the young and old when temperatures remain high for several days. Heatwave deaths currently average around 2,000 a year. By 2050, they're predicted to reach 7,000. Living in Britain's heating climate is going to be increasingly uncomfortable for us all and deadly for some.